What is up, heroes? This is Midnight and welcome back to Let's Play Deltarune Blind. This is this is interesting. When I went to start up the program this time around, it wasn't listed as what's it called, survey program, like it was before. It was actually called Deltarune.exe, which is obviously uh, a difference, and it's more in line with what the original Undertale was like. And it's telling this initial tale of everything, and I don't I don't think it's going to be too drastically different from what we actually saw in the game itself, but it's neat that they do that. And then, it actually loads to Deltarune. This, this screen, this title, uh, which is more in line with, you know, the what was revealed at the very end of the game. And we have this file select screen, which is super different from what it's been throughout the entire of the game thus far. Of course, I mean, when I first booted up the game, you guys saw what it looked like. It didn't go to anything like this. And even when I was choosing my file for, you know, different episodes, it was a black screen with just green, bare bones outlines for these files. But now we've got, you know, the, the fountain or whatever it may be in the background. And it looks really, really cool. But you guys might be wondering, why in the world is there another episode? And probably from the thumbnail and title, most, those of you uh, who know probably already know, and those of you that are curious probably have an inkling as to what's going on here, but turns out there's actually a secret boss. And what I want to do in this episode was see if I could get to this secret boss and, well, give it a go. So the first thing I want to see is when we're at the throne, I think this is before we actually go into the final fight, I think we have the ability to backtrack. So what we're gonna do is find, I believe, three different, um, three different keys. So I've gotta remember all of these again. There was the spade and then the club, and then it was heart and diamond, I think. Okay, that was heart, I believe. And then down here is diamond, right? Spade, yeah, so it was diamond, heart, club, spade. Or is the order that we should actually, you know, be remembering. So, apparently if we take the elevator, there's an area we can go to that will allow us to access this boss. But first we need to find three different broken keys. One of them is related to the card puzzle that I kept mentioning in the previous episodes. The other one, I believe, is at Sean's shop, and the other one is somewhere in the forest. I'm not 100% sure exactly where. So what will probably happen is, let's let's head to the bake sale, because that's the one I think I'm the most potentially confused about. Was it over this way? Or was it up a little bit? If it takes a, too long, you know, to actually find all these things, don't worry, I'll actually just use editing powers to jump back and forth between things. But the, the hint I was given is that it's near the bake sale in the forest by the area where the dancers are. And beyond that, I'm really not too sure. So we'll see what we're able to do with that. This is something we've already unlocked. It's so interesting coming back after having seen, you know, how the rest of the game goes and unfolds. Maybe, maybe this part? Oh, I was careless and that's what happens. Didn't I? I thought I checked over here. I should make sure I don't have any of them first. This is where we came from, right? Yeah, let me, let me check my key items. Okay, we just have the cell phone. Hmm. So, we'll, we'll head up in this corner again. I'm fairly confident I checked this the first time around because I don't think my RPG tendencies would have let me do anything otherwise. I think the, the dancers or whatever are those... <laughs> those enemies that honestly remind me of Kartana, the Pokemon, that move around in a particular pattern. Oh! Hello there. Okay, yeah, I'll um, I'll edit to when I get closer. Sorry about that. Okay, so it turns out I ended up backtracking all the way to the uh, the shop, but it turns out I actually need to go in here first and try to go to the floor that um 
Wait, huh? I, I swear there's supposed to be a an option. Maybe I have to go down this elevator? It's this one, right? Where will you ride the elevator to? Okay, so there's the, the question marks. If we go down here, this is where things should start to get interesting. Boo hoo, boo hoo, wee hee hee, so lonely, lonely I be. Below, three visitors standing inside. Who are you, few? Nice to meet you. I'm Ralsei. This is Chris, and. So, what the heck are you doing in there? I am innocent! Innocent! I just wanted to play a game! A game? Would you like to play a game? But the boring kings found such fun to be a trouble. As punishment, they craved to imprison my body. But I'm fast. Fast, clever, clever. They lost the chase and locked up their entire race. Building a prison around the whole world. Now I'm the only free one. Uh, interesting. Huh, free? But you're clearly the one behind bars. Things don't seem such from here, Lightners. Well, sounds like you don't need any help then. That is unso. I grow lonely in my little freedom. So, shall you play a game with me? Me? I'll show you what it means to be free. Yeah, let's let's play a game. Find the key and I'll let you be free, free. The key is hidden from the eyes. The old shopkeeper knows a secret. Gotcha. So now that we've done this, we can actually find some of the things that are relevant to this little quest. So, now we will resume our adventure. Sorry about that. Those of you that that know how to do this are probably like, Oh my god, he hasn't even talked to the right person yet. But things should progress pretty quickly from here. Especially because we have this fiery door that we can use to um, transport to the field. Where there is incredible music. That we quickly interrupt. And so now we'll talk to Shom about the strange prisoner. Eh? What are you talking about? A prisoner with an odd, odd manner? No, you couldn't possibly be talking about him. I see. After all the trouble I went through to lock him up, you want to release him? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it could be troublesome if he were left alone. Yes, perhaps it's better if you heroes dealt with him now. After all, it's not as if whatever happens will matter in the end. Perhaps a little chaos might be fun. Oh, you sound like the Joker. So then, take this. Broken key A. Gotcha. If you're so driven, find the other two pieces and get someone to fix them. I'll even give you a hint. Walk where the stars don't shine. Anyhow, if you succeed, come here and tell me. You can call this luck. No, it's more like a curse. Interesting. Alright, well, fair enough, I guess. So, where the stars don't shine or wherever is referring to an invisible path that we're going to head to. The field, forest, bake sale, um, castle. I don't recall the particular spot. Can I not back out of this? <laughs> Amazingly, you're already there. So what I'll do is I'll head this direction as we transition into the next area. I don't think what I'm looking for is up here. Oh man. I don't want to fight you guys. Smorgasbord. Yeah, it, I feel you. You barely lifted a finger and... Well, if we have to be friends... So we spared that one. Face my diamond cutter. I guess, at the very least, this can be like a warm-up of sorts for what I presume will be a much more difficult battle in the future. So, we'll take it. And so we can spare the Rudin, and then this should be uh, not too difficult, so that's fine. We can flatter and then spare. Quick enough. Now let's see what's over here. So here is where um, we have one of the keys. And so this is where we have, it was Diamond Heart Club Spade, right? So, interesting. So if I want the last ones to be club and spade, I'm gonna need to kind of work backwards, right? So my last move is gonna have to be the spade. 
and I won't be able to switch afterwards. So I'm going to want to switch before that. And so if I switch, uh, basically I'm going to have to add them, add one and then switch and so forth. So if I do something like this, and then if I want a heart, I'm going to need this to be the opposite. So I'll switch it and then add this and then this and then switch it again and then that. Cool. You open the treasure chest. Inside was broken key C. You put broken key C in your key items. All right, so we've obtained the first and third parts of the broken key. I don't know. I don't know who's going to fix them, but we'll we'll see. Can we avoid this guy? No, we can't. Ah. So I guess we'll we'll make our way through this. Again, the whole, you know, dealio with un well, just random encounters more or less you know not the most exhilarating when you just want to move on with the story and it's not like they're offering too much of a challenge but it's it's okay we'll deal with it the battle music is hype enough and the sprites are cool enough and I mean the battles aren't too difficult so it's fine and we're making it through well we'll use Susie to flatter just to entertain ourselves you ordered Susie to flatter all the enemies can't believe my bozo teammates have a thing for weaklings like you or else they spare it happy. Oh, I didn't realize that it would work on all the enemies. That would have been more efficient. Okay, so now we've got to get through this part again. Not that it was difficult. It's just that I can't exactly, you know, zone out during it. But that's okay. It's a cool section, no doubt. Alright, the power of the fun gang shines within you. I won't save because, well, I don't anticipate dying and for the sake of save files and all that jazz. The acceleration feels kind of weird here. Alright, now we can move on. Gotta make it back to the, the forest. And the thing is, I know it's somewhere in the middle where there are all of those, like, the, the Kartanas dancing around and I know exactly what it was because there was a section where I remember <sighs> I have to fight these again um, there was a section where I saw a treasure chest in the corner and was like huh how do I get that I'll have to keep that in mind I thought I looked for a hidden path but apparently I didn't look well enough let's see is it gonna pop out Oh, it popped out. Oh, I, I tried to, like, bait it and then, you know. I don't know. Um, oh, I wonder if the... A uh, nice and tidy go. I was going to say, I wonder if the attack differs based on how, like, tiny or not tiny the enemy is, for that matter. Uh, yeah, I tried to, like, bait it to jump out of the bush and then run towards the other direction, but for some reason it didn't work, unfortunately. Is that the way to go? Up there? No, that's where the... There's just a root in up there, or whatever it's called. So we'll continue this way. Even though you guys saw me walking this way earlier in the video. The Bloxer is over there. So we gotta wait for him to go by. <clears throat> Sorry that so much of this video is just... Me walking around trying to figure out where to go. I guess we can save here. Even though we could have pretty much, I don't know, teleported here. Is it up here somewhere? Looks to be the case. There's a treasure chest. How do we get up there? Huh? I don't know how we get up there, but this is probably the area that they were talking about. They said where the stars don't shine, right? I guess that's our, our uh, clue to work with. Ah, so here is our path. Where do we go from here, though, is the question. Can I go over this way? No. Whoa! We could not, there was no way we could outrun that, unfortunately. So we can breathe on all of them. 
That'll make life a lot easier, but... I wonder what the attack will be when there are two of them. Oh my, that's different from what I anticipated. Oh, I thought it was gonna finish. <laughs> Ralse, say, uh, dang. It's alright, I'm not too worried. I'm curious to see if, um... It'll auto... Okay, yeah. It's nice. So, I had Susie and Chris spare the same enemy, but I didn't want that. I wanted to see if it'll, like, auto-target just whatever enemy is left. You open the treasure chest. Inside was broken key B. Cool, so now we finally have all of the keys. And we have this thing that is accelerating. Oh, I tried to get around it, but no luck. So, here we go. Let's see if the, the attack is always the same. Oh, it's not. Interesting. Alrighty. So we got through that. I'm sure there's another pathway or something that we can go to or through, but honestly, I'm not too concerned with it at the moment. I think I'm just going to go back to the bake sale, actually. Just because I think that'll be faster to warp to the castle. Oh, or wait a minute. There was the... There was the hammer-looking guy, right? That... Where's the path? Is it, like, here? It is. I figured that, just from, like, a game design standpoint, they would cover it up with the bloxers. Just 40 dark dollars? Oh, is that what they're called? Oh, what? I didn't think I was touching them. Darn. Alright, well, we'll rearrange you, and then you can spare, and then, I don't know, Ralsa, you can defend. So head, torso, and uh, legs. Cool. So we're getting all the little secrets. And it's taking us so much longer to, uh, you know, get... Oh, really? Dang. I didn't think I got hit, but that's alright. I'm not too worried about it. Okay, there we go. Aw, poor, poor Relse. <laughs> Yeah, there's the the hammer guy who can fix up who fixed up the broken cake, right? In the heart of the woods, a bake sale stands quietly. There we go. So we'll save again. And can we bring you the keys? Well, well, I am the Smith Malleus. I can fix anything. Weapon, armor, can even fix you. Well, well, what will it be? Can we fix an item? Huh. That key is seething with energy. You must let me fix it. Haha, let's feel my technique. <laughs> that technique, though. The broken key parts are fixed beyond recognition. The broken key parts became the prison key. Hmm. This key has a terrible energy coming from it. Please understand that I only fixed it, so that you will never have to use it. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so, well, there's gonna be a, uh, what's it called? Save thing over there. So we'll use the door then, and finally head over to the castle. Sorry, I realized that most of this video, or all of this video thus far, all, I don't know, 15 to 20 minutes of it has just been me wandering around finding the different broken key parts. Hopefully, it serves as a decent tutorial on how to find the different parts and, you know, mistakes that can be made, I guess. And then, of course, how to find that one little treasure chest on the side as well. But now, we finally head down to the question mark floor. With our key fixed... Our party primed and roaring at the at the ready. We'll save. And I think this is the time where we finally get to the battle. I'm still using the keyboard. I would much rather use my dual shock, but again, couldn't get it to work and can't be bothered to look into it much more at the moment. So we hee hee the key the key. A marvelous fun is about to break free. Won't you let yourself outside? Won't you let yourself outside? That's so funny. You put the door key in front of the door. What's interesting is Sham was like, oh, might as well have you heroes take care of it. It's not going to matter, you know, by the end. Like, as if eventually is going to break free and will need to be dealt with at that time. So might as well have you guys take care of him. The door key created a door. <laughs> That's funny. And... Oh my. 
You look like a jester. Wiki, visitors, visitors, now we can play, play. Then, after you, I can play with everyone else, too. So, what are we playing exactly? A death game. <laughs> oh, it's just a simple numbers game. When your HP drops to zero, you lose. So that's the kind of game you want to play, huh? Then, I gotta warn you. <laughs> You're dealing with a couple of sharks. Ooh, shark to shark. I wouldn't have it any other way. That laugh, though. Now, now, let the games begin. In this music. Oh, in the the sort of 3D background is like we're on a um, like a merry-go-round, pretty much. <laughs> it's it's very fitting. So let the games begin. So Jevil, evil jester, maybe pirouette, random chaos, induced tired. Okay, let's check, and we'll have everyone else defend for the time being. Jevil, there is no strategy to defeat the enemy. Good luck. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Chaos, chaos, catch me if you can. Okay, okay. Okay, oh, I went... I hit the wrong key. All things considered, that wasn't too crazy. Jevil is laughing incomprehensibly. So, we're already at TP44, wow. So, we'll try pirouetting, just for the sake of it. And inevitably, during this attack, we'll probably work our way up to over 50 anyways. So, Chris spun around, Jevil got slightly more tired, and... Jevil felt at ease. Jevil's defense dropped. Interesting. Shall we play the ring around? That's attacking Ralse. The ring around. Ah, I see. I, um, don't see well enough, though. <laughs> so I clearly haven't figured out how to handle that attack yet. <laughs> so I, I understand how the the spades, like, move in. I'm, I think what I'm trying to do is go around the outside of them. I think what I need to do is find little pockets on the inside that it curls around and then move around within that small pocket. Regardless, um, I can't use Hypnosis yet. So I'll have Chris defend and we'll have Susie use, um, I don't know. <laughs> Revive Mint, I guess, on Ralse. Susie, use the Revive Mint. My hearts go out to all you sinners. Ah, the hearts, I see. I see what you did there, Jevil. Okay. We're getting awfully close. <laughs> the world is spinning, spinning. So now we can use Hypnosis. Susie spun around some, spun something around. Jevil's next attack weakened. Jevil became more tired. Haha, let's make the devil's knife. The devil's knife? Whoa, that was... Huh? Can I can I not be in the center here? That <laughs> did not go as planned. The air crackles with freedom. Okay, we don't have quite enough for... Um, hypnosis. So, we'll have Chris use... The top cake for now, because I'm a little bit concerned about everyone. And we'll have everyone else defend. Chris used the top cake, so we're all back at max HP. These curtains are really on fire! Okay, so this, that wasn't the indicator of like a new attack, it was just uh, just more dialogue. <laughs> but how cool, smells like chaos. Okay, fitting! So we'll use Hypnosis again, and Jevil's next attack beacon, Jevil became more tired. Pip Pip, let's ride the carousel game! Oh my goodness! This is certainly more difficult than uh, this attack. That attack was a lot more difficult than I anticipated. Poor Ralsei. Poor Ralsei. So we'll we'll revive him and then have Susie defend. Because we're, we're going to want to use Hypnosis. Hehe, <laughs> having fun? Join the club! Ah, I see, the club. The puns. Love it. Aw oh, man, I missed. So this is definitely the most challenging battle in the game. I think that's the, the whole point, right? So we can use Hypnosis again. Can we finally put him to sleep? Devil's next attack weekend, Devil became more tired. Hearts, diamonds, I can do anything! Okay. Smells like chaos. And again, I think we should use Hypnosis. Devil's next attack weekend, Devil became more tired. 
who keeps spinning the world around. Oh, poor Ralse getting targeting. Oh, well, no, that was not the uh, the plan. Okay, I do think I need to uh, stick to the outside here. So, again, I feel like I've got to... I, I, I have to work on that, but I feel like I can't... I'm not moving quickly enough. Regardless, um... I guess we can heal the team, 30 HP, Suzy can, I don't know. Use Choco Diamond, I guess, on Ralse? Sure. So we're all, we're all living again. Suzy used the Choco Diamond, that didn't heal too much, but it was something, I guess. You kids are really keeping up! Darn, this... This attack is is tough. Oh man. Why? I'm having so much difficulty with that attack. That one was a bit different. It didn't flow as wave-like as the previous one. It was like there were certain columns moving upwards while the other ones were moving downwards. Obviously there's gotta be a way to get around it. I mean there there wouldn't they wouldn't include it if it weren't the case. Uh but we'll use the Lancer cookie on Susie. Ralse can use Heal Prayer, I guess. on herself, himself. Not ideal, especially given that we need the TP to be at 50 for, uh, you know, the, to induce the dizziness, but, ah, I never had such fun, fun. Okay, Oh man, I ran into that one. Wait, Susie's down? Oh, were we all the targets there? I thought it was just Chris. Darn. So again, we'll use the hearts donut on Susie. Ralse can, I don't know, use an item as well, I guess. The dark candy on Susie. And we'll see how it goes from there. Oh, that healed 90. Wow. Okay. A beauty is joying in my heart. Ooh, is this... I think this is the first time I've experienced that attack. What? Ralse went down? Darn. Well, we're almost dead at this point, then. I can't use the... What happens if I use the glow shard? We'll, we'll see, I guess. But otherwise, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna die. But nothing happened. <laughs> Even Devil's Knife is smiling. So, whoa, that <laughs> we're super down. <laughs> so this is, this is obviously a pretty difficult battle, guys. It's pretty tough. I'll I'll defend for the sake of it. It's all too much fun. Get to, I guess we get to see what the game over looks like. It appears you have reached an end. Will you try again? We will. Then the future is in your hands. Cool. So we can obviously give it a go again. I'm trying to think. I mean, we can stock up on better healing items for sure because we have the money and all. But, um,. I, I definitely just need to get used to the attacks more so than anything. So we'll see what we can do. Let's give this battle a go again. This this one, this one may take a few tries. <laughs> Believe it or not, that death scythe attack is gonna be tough. So what I can do in the meantime is just defend with everyone. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Oh, seriously? Right off the bat? So we already have TP of 61, which is nice. So we can use Hypnosis right off the bat. And I think that's more powerful than the Pirouette. Should we play the ring around? Okay. Oh, wait, I messed up the timing, but... Yeah, here as we go. I gotta really be proactive about it. So I can have everyone defend again. I think that's the way to go. Your your heart goes out to all of us sinners. Thank you. I, I'm so happy to know that you care so heavily about us, Jevil. <laughs> we can use hypnosis again. We're definitely gonna want to be able to get, you know, these hypnosis attacks off earlier on in uh, the battle. So this attack, here's how we, you know, dodge that. I'm still curious though about when the red scythe shows up, how are we going to be, you know, getting around that? 
I'm gonna, because I think it's a good time to do so, we have one item that heals the whole team 30 HP, and I think this is this would be a good use for it for everyone. Maybe maybe after one more hit for Ralse, but I can't guarantee it'll just be one, be just one more hit, right? So we can have everyone else defend, and that'll, that'll bring our TP up quite a bit. Pip Pip, let's ride the carousel game. Okay, so they're going up now, and then down, and I, oh man. Ralse's down. How am I supposed to get... I feel like I'm supposed to find little pockets in either the corners um, rather than actually, I don't know, try to weave in between those. Regardless, we'll revive Ralse. And Susie can defend in the meantime. Our TP is at max, so we should be able to do a couple spin turns in a row. We're joining the club now, it seems. And I don't need to try for... Because I'm totally trying, right? to uh, get close to the attacks. At least we're all alive for this turn, so we can do Hypnosis. Although, obviously, if we all do Hypnosis, we can't defend and we can't heal. Hearts, Diamonds, you can do anything. I got you, don't worry. Aw, oh, man. So, for an attack like this, you definitely want to be just focusing on the Diamonds on the bottom and seeing where they're showing up and preemptively doing that. Uh, while we still have everyone alive, we'll do the Hypnosis again. The next attack gets weakened, which is nice, but the who keeps spinning the world around is definitely more of an indicator. It's like, okay, we're actually doing something in my opinion. Oh man, Chris is down. <sighs> Getting better at that. Still not great, obviously. So what we can do is probably use the Lancer cookie on Chris, and Ralse can defend, because <laughs> Ralse needs all the defense he can get kids are really keeping up. Oh man, this is this is Ralsei. Ralsei is super down. Yeah, so we, we all died there again. I was just trying to look at the screen there and see where exactly are the safe areas. Because it looks like on that one in particular, I might be able to just kind of go back and forth between the same like up down positions rather than try and move left right. But I don't know. I don't know. After this attempt, if I don't get any further, I'll go back, I'll get some better healing items, and I'll, uh, what's it called? I'll use some editing magic to make it more enjoyable for you guys. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is just defend. What, uh, what does Susie have again? Okay, it's just damaging. So we'll defend with everyone. Oh man, uh, what a horrible start right off the bat. Uh, I was trying to get close because I was like, oh this attack it shouldn't be too bad, and then get a little bit more TP, but it was, oh man, I still got hit by the end there. Um, we don't have quite enough yet, so I'll have Chris defend because Chris has lower HP than Susie, and Susie can use the dark candy on Ralse, and Ralse can defend. And we should have enough TP for the dizziness, um, for hypnosis next time around. So here's the heart attack. The heart attack. Sometimes, sometimes the attacks get so close that it, it does indeed feel like a heart attack. We'll use hypnosis again. Um, Devil's Knife. Oh, I, I thought it was spinning the other way. I wonder if that changes each time, because I swear it was spinning in the opposite direction last time. That's alright. So we should be able to use Ralsei's healing spell this turn, which is nice. We'll have Chris defend, Susie can use an item, we'll use the Choco Diamond on Chris, and then Ralsei can use Heal Prayer on himself. Cool, so, wow, Joker Diamond got Chris all the way up to max HP. Let's ride the carousel game. Man, I I can't dodge this attack for the life of me. I swear I just need I need to just like move up and down with like some sort of wave like motion. Uh, but I'm obviously gonna have to get used to it. I'm obviously gonna have to figure that out sometime or another. So the clubs. Aw oh, man. 
Oh, uh, no, I hit both the up arrow and the down arrow. Ugh, I wanted to move down. We'll use dizziness again while we have everyone alive. Even though I feel like that's very dangerous for the following turn. Diamonds, poor, uh, poor Ralsei. Okay, so we don't have quite enough, so I'm gonna have Chris defend Susie because Susie has more HP. We can use the top cake, heal everyone up, and Ralsei can defend again as well. And that should get our, um, yeah, our TP is gonna be looking really good at the end of this turn, hopefully. Okay. Oh man, but then it goes the opposite direction. No, I went the wrong way. <laughs> it keeps alternating kind of like the, the clockwise or counterclockwise uh, direction of it. So we'll use Hypnosis again. We're feeling relatively healthy. Chris is looking pretty weak, but kids are really keeping up. Okay, okay. Darn. Darn. It's like up, up, and then down, down. I'm, I'm still... The first one seems more like a, like a relatively continuous wave that you need to move up and down with. The, the second one definitely seems different. I'm not quite in tune with that one at all. <laughs> so we'll use Hypnosis again for the sake of progressing the battle. Ah, I never had such fun, never. So everyone is the target now. This, is this a new attack? I don't think I remember this attack from any of the, the previous battles, but it's possible. It smells like chaos and we're at 17%, which is not a great amount. So the question is, do we heal this turn? Probably, right? Uh, we'll probably use the club sandwich. Or rather, we'll have Chris defend. We'll have Susie use the club sandwich to heal everyone up a bit. And then Ralsei defend because Ralsei's defense is super weak. Beauty is joying in my heart. Okay, so we got these, these club attacks. Aw, oh, man, I... No, no. No, Ralsei, poor Ralsei. Regardless, we can use Hypnosis, progress that a bit. Devil's next attack weekend, Devil became more tired. Even Devil's Knife is smiling, so this is the one that will start to incorporate that. And I don't know how to get around that. But I think this is technically the furthest we've made it. I think. So let's see here. Susie and Ralsei are both at low HP. This would be nice for another, I don't know, club sandwich or something. But we have one Revivement, we have a Hearts Donut, and we have the Lancer Cookie. I'm going to use the Lancer Cookie on Chris for the time being, and Ralsei can use the Hearts Donut on yourself. So Chris is relatively healthy, Ralsei is definitely healthy, Susie is defending at least. It's so exciting, I can't take it. Whoa, this is new. And that did a lot of damage. No! Susie is down. Susie... Susie down! Susie down! So we'll use the revivement on Susie, and then Ralsei can... heal himself, I think, is probably the better way to go about it. Yeah, I think. And then hopefully we get enough uh, TP this turn. This is it, boys and girls. See ya! Oh my! It's like all of the shapes. Aw, oh, man. Come on. That attack went on for a long time. Regardless, we're alive and able to use hypnosis, so we'll continue to do that. Chris gazed strangely. Enough, you kids tired me up. Oh, the attack is slowing a lot. Like a lot. We have 50, something terrible is coming. Huh? I don't think he qualifies quite as tired yet, so we'll keep going with Hypnosis. Whew. <laughs> Kidding! Here's my final Chaos! Great. What in the world? Oh man. Final Chaos is definitely a fitting term. Oh no! No, don't die! Not here! Not now! Not at the end! Come on, come on, come on, come on. What? What? How am I supposed to avoid that? Devil's pulling out all the stops. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no kidding. What? That was that, that was called Final Chaos and it wasn't the final move? Oh man. 
we, do we have any? We don't have any healing. Okay, so we're, we might as well go for the hypnosis. We spun something around. Devil's next attack weakened. Chaos. Chaos. We're all the targets again. Um, I, I can't afford to get hit at all. No! No! <laughs> Darn it. Okay, so I think, I think this time around, wow, that was, that was a fun battle, actually. That was really fun. I think I'm going to go get some better items and we can, we can work with it from there. And that will definitely make the battle a lot more palatable. I think the shop was, what, on the top floor? So let's see what we have available to us. Because that can make a huge difference. And again, I guess sorry for the, the long um, video. I guess for those of you that aren't interested, that were only interested in the battle, I mean, you probably skipped right ahead to the battle anyways, so not too big of a deal. <laughs> so we can sell items. We'll sell the glow shard now because now I don't feel bad about it. Um, we can't get rid of it. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna, we have plenty, plenty of dark money. So I'm gonna get rid of the manual. Uh, really throw it away? Yeah, absolutely. Drop the manual on the floor with a resounding thud. Hey, Chris, what are you doing? Oh no, is that the manual? Looks like you accidentally dropped it. <laughs> here you go, Chris. You don't wanna lose that. You got the manual, again, I see. So that's how it's gonna be. So let's see here. Fragrant sauce heals 50 HP. That's a weapon, homemade healing up. Um, we can probably give this to Ralse, right? I think so. We don't really need that. I guess... Is this really the best we have at our, available? I guess we'll buy a few of them then. Uh, I'll exit out here and equip the scarf, I guess. Uh, let's see here. So, we can... Oh, do I already have the dainty scarf? I already do. So, I don't think there's anything else we can really even get at this point, right? Because, yeah. Manual, dark candy, etc. Okay, well, that's not as promising of an item set up as I had anticipated being able to get, but I guess you work work with what you have, right? So I guess we'll head down and give it a go this time around. Man, that was that was it's it's a fun battle. It's a fun battle. And obviously, I mean if we had gotten more EXP, etc., it would be much easier, but given how we're playing the game this is probably as challenging as it gets. I mean, you can obviously impose other things like, you know, no healing items or armorless or whatever it may be. But, yeah. Let's give it a go. One more time. And, well, maybe maybe I'll skip ahead through this part again. Uh, or the early battle for you guys again. But we'll see. That final chaos was intense. So, we're going to want to defend immediately. And... Try not to get hit. <sighs> Why is this? It's like the opposite corner attacks that get me every time, and I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get why I'm having such a tough time with it. Well, we'll do hypnosis, and the next attack is. Oh, I hit. I missed the key. I missed the key, guys. Seriously. What a waste. What a waste. <sighs> what a waste. That's pretty frustrating. Oh, and Chris is down again. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna start this battle over. I don't even want to deal with it at this point. Um It's it's not worth it. I am really considering looking into somehow setting up my, my dual shock because I, there have been times where I hit two keys at once or completely miss the keyboard or just straight up unfamiliarity. And obviously, you know, I don't want to be making uh, like 100% excuses. Like obviously I'm really bad at the whatever the spinning around or carousel um, 
attack is, and I'm still having troubles, but but I feel like when there's a disconnect with the the controller and the player, I mean, that's adds a lot onto it, obviously. And I dodge right into that one. Okay. So, we can use Hypnosis. Cool. Now, the Ring Around. Okay. Okay, okay. Darn it. Went up too much. <sighs> I keep going, like, making, like, square patterns instead of circle patterns. So, we'll defend, I guess. And Susie can defend as well. And then Ralse can use Heal on Susie. And hopefully this turn will be good. Okay, it's the heart attack. Um, our darn it. I was looking at the side, I was like, our TP is not really boosting that that high, unfortunately. So maybe I should do something a little bit more. And there you have it. I ran right into one. Okay. The uh, the devil's knife. Okay, so we're at near max TP now, which is nice. So we can go for Hypnosis, and then pretty comfortably this turn as well, probably get back to the point of using it. The Carousel, okay. Ah, oh, man. The, the wave, I kept, it kept overall riding up, so I ran out of room at the end there, which is obviously not ideal. Um, so we can use Hypnosis here, I think I will. Because there will be a turn where I'm not able to use Hypnosis and I'd rather use the healing item. Oh, uh, we're all the target. Join the club. Okay, okay. No, I ran right into it. So here, for example, we don't have the ability to use it. So I might as well at this time use something like... Where is it? The club sandwich? Where's my club sandwich? There it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think this will be a good time to use something like that. And then we can defend with everyone else. Oh, I should have Chris defend and then have Susie use the uh, club sandwich. I think that'll be the best way of going about it. Can you do anything, though? So you can see how much faster the attack is this time around. I also got cornered there. That's my bad. Um, how much faster it is than when, you know, you got tired eventually. You keep spinning the world around! Okay... Ah, uh, that was bad. That was too... I gotta figure something out. Something. Um, I can defend here, defend, and also I can pretty safely use the heal prayer on someone. Let's go with... Let's go with Susie for now, because Susie is a bit more of a tank. Kids are really keeping up. Okay, so up, 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 up. Darn. The, the hitbox is also kind of weird on that. I feel like I was running into it more frequently than I was actually getting hit. But, I mean, I guess I won't complain too much about that. <laughs> so we use Hypnosis here, because next turn we'll probably have enough TP to heal. Or use an item, but not necessarily to do the hypnosis again. So we might as well do this to weaken things. Never had such fun. Great. Wow, things are moving fast. No, who's down? Ralsei? Of course it's Ralsei. Of course Ralsei is the one that went down. So this would be a good turn to use something like the... What's it called? The top cake or whatever? Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. I'll have Chris defend again, and we can have Susie use the top cake. And that should heal everyone to max, which is nice. Beauty is joying in my heart. I, I'm happy to hear that for you, Jevil. Unfortunately, I don't think we're really in... Darn it. Ralsei's down again. <laughs> I don't think we're really in the same position there. So I think last time, the, the hearts donut worked really well on Ralsei, so we'll do that this time. Even Devil's Knife is smiling. Oh man, I ran right into it. I don't know how to... Oh, I thought it was homing in, but it's actually just moving laterally across the box. 
Okay, so there's a little bit of progress in the understanding of that attack, at least. So exciting. I can't take it. Oh, this attack again. No! Was that Chris? Dang. Oh, uh, and that was me hitting the page down button. <laughs> so, we can have Susie use an item here. We can use the Revive Mint on Chris, and Ralsei can... Heal himself? Yeah, I think that's a better way of going about it. That way, we should be at pretty healthy, although we're low on TP, so we can't really progress that. This is it, boys and girls. See ya. Oh, this is like the, the multi-shape attack, I guess. Man, those diamonds are actually really helpful because there's so many projectiles in a straight line that if you get really close to dodging one of them, you dodge like four of them and get a boost as a result. So we can probably defend again here because we can't really dizzy or anything. Enough, you kids tired me up. Interesting. So what's particularly interesting is I don't think we've done as many dizzy spells at this point. So I I'm surprised that it's still slowed down. Well, we'll keep going with Hypnosis. Kidding, here's my final chaos. So, all these scythes. Darn. So, something I'm realizing is, um, I think it's more so about the sides themselves than the columns of white. I thought I needed to dodge those pillars of white in addition to everything else that was going on, but I don't think that's actually the case. Now, we're pretty low on HP, which is not ideal, obviously, but our TP is so high, I feel like I should, or I, like, I almost have to use Hypnosis at this point. Okay. Darn. Come on. Everybody's just going down. <laughs> Ralse, you're gonna need to use a revive mint on Susie for the sake of just maximum HP ring back. These curtains are really on fire. Darn. This attack, I swear, this attack! Okay, I'm gonna, this is the time where I, I make edits because I've been recording for almost an hour now. Ugh, that attack, why can I not figure out that pattern? Why? There's something, there's gotta be something I'm missing about it. Chaos Bomb was prepared for you. I, something I've been, well, I've been struggling with this battle in particular, but but what's interesting is I haven't been able to do the Hypnosis anywhere near as much, and I'm wondering if the battle is dragging on as a result, or if things are going to be different as a result. Regardless, I'll go for the Hypnosis again, but what's this Chaos Bomb? This is it, boys and girls. See ya. Apparently, this is, this is it, boys and girls. And yeah, we're definitely not going to be... Susie's the only one left alive. And yeah. I mean, for the time being... I don't know. I'll use this on Susie just to keep her alive while the other two passively heal. Enough, you kids tired me up. Interesting. So I think this is the second time he's actually done this attack, maybe? Something terrible is coming. Is this going to be the final chaos again? Or whatever it may be? Either way, I still want to just defend while the other two passively here. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jevil is truly exhausted. Uh, of course! Of course, Jevil is finally exhausted! And I don't have Ralse alive to, to use Pacify. <sighs> of course, of course, we'll, we'll defend and see if we can stay alive long enough for Ralse to, I don't know, come back to life on his own. I'm not optimistic, but we'll try. It'll take two more turns. We'll continue defending, I guess. No! Okay, but I guess at the very least, it, it does indicate to me that I don't think we actually need to be going for hypnosis as frequently as I, I do, or at least in as risky of a manner as I do to like progress the battle, right? I think what's more important is using it to weaken the attacks when I get the chance. So, okay, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. We were so close to the end, I'm sure. Nothing but a useless bird. What? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, interesting. I, I went for the pirouette, and I, I don't know how much of an influence that actually has on Jevil's attacks or anything like that. It certainly seems to have a little bit of an impact on his tiredness, but apparently we got a perfect 10 and healed 30 HP on everyone. That's really cool. Uh, seriously? Uh, this is like one of those easy attacks I should be really doing fine with every single turn. In the meantime, I can still pirouette and see if anything happens, and defend with Susie. I'm not too pressured to heal Ralse immediately, because he's just going to passively gain a little bit of HP each turn anyways. What? It was just Foley! Huh? Who keeps spinning the world around? That was the first time I made it without getting hit, and I was literally like a frame or two away from getting hit again, but... Hey, that's, that's that's okay. It uh, still counts for something, right? Jevil felt at ease. Jevil's defense dropped. Interesting. You kids are really keeping up. Darn. darn it! Darn it! Darn it! That that is still easily my worst attack. Awkward, upcoming attack will hurt rapidly. What? That's not that's not what I wanted. Oh, I never had such fun. Oh dang. That was not what I wanted, but that's okay I guess. We'll keep I wonder you know. The pirouette seems to be uh interesting at the very least. And look, would you look at that, Ralse is alive again. So let's use... Where's the, the club sandwich? It'll heal 30 HP, which is like enough. Not a ton, but enough. Oh, I should have used... I should have used Ralsei's magic. Regardless. Tranquil, the dance defended the party. Ooh, neat. So we have boosted defense too. A beauty is drawing in my heart. And what's really helpful is that this is for specifically a targeting or attack that's targeting a Ralse who needs every bit of uh, help he can get. So we'll pirouette, we can defend, and we'll have Ralse use the heal prayer on himself. Let's see what happens with this attack. It's nothing but a useless bird. I wonder if there's a cycle of things that goes through. So next turn we'll get like a perfect ten or something like that. And now here the red one shows up, and we're just going to take that like a champ. Except we didn't take it like a champ, and instead, Susie went down. But uh, I guess I guess that's okay, question mark? 
So we'll, we'll play, pirouette again because I'm curious. And we'll have Ralsei use the Revive Mint. Again, I like saving the Revive Mints for Susie because Susie has the most HP and when it goes under, it usually goes to like minus 40, right? So we're really getting the most utility out of the Revive Mint. Jump got slightly more tired and it felt comforting. Huh. Interesting. So... I'm, I'm curious. It's so exciting. I can't take it. What? Why did that do so much damage? I mean, I, I know I wasn't defending, but... Dang. <laughs> Chaos Bomb was prepared for me. Why, thank you. We'll use the Top Cake to have everyone ready to go, and we'll defend with Ralse. Again, I don't think my... That Ralse, or uh, Devil's dizziness is having too much of an impact on the fight. Final Chaos. Okay, so I didn't think I was getting hit by the Pillars of Light, but it seems like I actually am. So I gotta figure out something to do there that's different from what I'm currently doing. In the meantime, I definitely need to heal up. It would be nice to weaken Jevil's attack. I think. I don't know. What's the best way of going about this turn? I've still got plenty of healing items. The thing is, we're all equally at pretty low HP, which is not ideal. So I'm thinking I defend with everyone except for Ralse, who heals uh, Susie, who is able to actually, I don't know, tank hits a little bit better, I think. Oh, uh, poor Ralsei getting targeted. Always this attack, too. I don't know why. Oh man. I knew it was just going to be one hit. One hit and Ralsei would be down, but I guess that's okay for now. We can use the, the pirouette, and I think I'll have Susie use... The heart stone is good on, is good on Ralsei, I believe. You can use the Rusel Rue or whatever <laughs> on Chris. And... Devil felt at ease. Devil's defense drop. Not too useful, but that's alright. This body cannot be killed. I know we're getting close to the end of this one. Oh, that's right. It's the, the chaos one or whatever. Oh, come on. Wait, who went down? Susie did. Dang. Okay, so this is... This is, uh, not so hot. Let's use the revivement on Susie. Get a lot of that HP back. And work from there. It's all too much fun. Oh, uh, no. No, not the carousel. Uh, Susie's down again. Darn. It was really close there, I think. It was actually really close there. And I still had so many healing items. I should have been, shouldn't have been so stingy with them. Here he is, finally tired again, and Ralsei is dead. Luckily, up until this point, I've I've healed decently well, I think. So I should have I should still have a um, a revive mint I can use on Ralsei. Or honestly, it's probably better to just use a um, one of these guys. Actually, probably two of them. Yeah, I think that's probably the safer way to go about it. Or 
Should I use a heart donut? I think the heart donut is probably better. So we can both use both of those and um, Ralsei should be back to max. Let's just um, survive this attack and then we can use pacify. No, come on. Seriously? Seriously, I'm at the end, guys. So, I've got to use a revive mint on Ralsei. The Lancer cookie, I have a revive mint, and I have one of these guys. Revive mint on Ralsei. Ralsei has sucky defense, though. I feel like. I gotta go with Ralsei. I just need to. I just need to do better. No, Ralsei's dead again. And Susie's at one HP. I use the Lancer cookie on Ralsei and hopefully survive. No, come on gotten so close where I just screwed up on the last last turn presumably Okay. Great. Great.
Is this finally it, guys? Is this finally it? I've survived with everyone to the point of him actually being tired. I don't want to use hypnosis, so I think... And I, I don't have any other items, so I might as well... Defend? Yeah, I think that's all I really can do at this point. And we'll have him use... We'll have Ralsei use pacify. Is that it? Is that it? What fun! I'm exhausted! You kids tired me up! I'm- I am way too skeptical to- to relax just yet. Now I will sleep for the other hundred years! Unfortunately, you kids cannot have such a pleasant dream. From now, a nightmare will awaken in your hearts. In the shadow of the knight's hand. Lightners, can you stop it? Wee hee hee. Either way, a mischief mischief. A chaos chaos. He's not the only person who's referred to a knight. Right? The the king. Mr. King also referred to letting down, you know, a, a knight. This is probably bigger, boss, you know? Lightners, from inside your little cell, take this and do your strongest. <laughs> Jevil's tail. Jevil's tail was added to your armors. Well, <laughs> there you have it, guys. In total, I've been recording for up to almost two hours now. I think the fight alone took like an hour, 15, hour and 20 minutes. Overall, overall a fun fight for sure. I think, I don't like, I definitely don't like using the keyboard for it. I figured out a few tricks, I guess, for the carousel aspects. Basically, certain corners of the box are safer at diff different points throughout it. So, kind of just camped out in those sections. I'll probably, I probably fast forward and did some editing to make this a lot more palatable for you guys. But hopefully you guys got to see at least my, my final run. Um, overall, really cool boss. I really like difficult bosses. I still feel like, though, even at the end, I didn't quite have it figured out. Which is a little bit frustrating. Even, like, when he did his final chaos attack or whatever it was. I still wasn't sure if it was the light, like, white pillars were also hurting me or if it was just the side sword. It felt like I couldn't move my heart fast enough to actually escape some of them at certain points. And I feel like you should be able to. I eventually figured out the... The rotating scythe attack and when the red one came in how to kind of get around that but nevertheless it wiped me clean of all my items and I mean I'm not too worried about it. it's not like I even really needed them for mr. King and I think that's all there is at this point we'll head back out see if anything happens I guess I don't think anything will um, if I doubt the game's ending is that different I doubt the game's ending is different if you beat Jevil. I don't know for sure though. Let's take a look at what the equipment at least is. Who can use it? Is it not that? Huh? Didn't it say Jevil's tail has been added to your armors? Right? Or am I just... What's going on? Huh? I'm confused. It said it said Jevil's Tales was added, right? What happens if I go back in there? Is there really The prison is just gone now? Is there really nothing? Am I just missing it? There we go. Okay, it wasn't showing up. So what does it say? A J-shaped tail that gives you devil energy. Wow. That seems really strong. Well, I guess that's uh, the reward for beating... I mean, technically you can beat Jevil before the final boss, so that's, I guess, why you would, would do that. The Jevil is definitely a lot more difficult than the final boss. So, um, I think... 
I'll I'll ask you guys if there's anything different with the ending. Otherwise, I don't I don't think there will be. And I think this is all of the bonus content I could conjure up for Delta Rune. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let's let's head outside this castle. It's very I don't know. It's not the best music. It's good for castle music, but it's not exactly what I want to end on. So instead, let's head over to the field. Aw, yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys for your patience throughout the entirety of the video. First of all, finding all the different broken keys, the hidden paths necessary to find them, and then going to Jevil, the cutscenes and all that, and then the multiple attempts it took me to beat Jevil. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that fight. I hope some of you guys um, had been looking forward to that fight. And for those of you that didn't even know it existed, I hope it was fun for you to watch. I hope it was fun to see me struggle and try and figure things out. And if you enjoyed it, uh, be sure to let me know. But I think that's all that covers this chapter of Deltarune, at least to my knowledge. If anything else is there, there exists. Uh, let me know this episode has gone on long enough, though. So I will see you guys in Chapter 2, whenever that may be. But until Deltarune Chapter 2, this is Movie Night Zero, and this mission is complete.